Okay, this is video number two in our little study on um, the accuracy of getting your corpse work correct. In the previous video, we studied an actual decomposing deer, and this video we're going to take a look at one of our prototypes of product that we use. Uh, this one is really manufactured for the haunt and haunted attraction industry. And attention to detail is important, but it's not critical because the general public viewing this is going to have an idea of what a dead guy looks like, and this is pretty much like it. This one can be used for a burn victim, or it can be used for a, a, a rotting corpse. And you can see it's got incredibly good detail here. It's a good, for, good first attempt. And there, of course, is the back of the model, and you see it's de-emphasized, but it has this leathery skin, which would be consistent with what you would see. Um, left over when the decomposition process would have taken out all the soft tissue on the inside and of course left only with the skeletal structure that you see here. Now this is great stuff. It's nothing other than, and then we peel it away, you can see the detail. This is great stuff that's been sprayed in and then painted over along with some uh, latex sheeting material here covered with actual latex and then painted. And that's how you get the skin. Uh, the the detail here to look at this important though if you're going for realism and again if you're if you're going to shoot this thing from a distance and you can see as we back up here you you can see that it looks very very realistic and even from a further distance in here we're about 10 feet away and that's about a good 12 foot shot and as you focus in on it to the degree that you're going to focus in and get a close up shot you're going to start to see detail that is going to be picked up on the camera if you don't deal with it in advance. Case in point, do you see the wires here that articulate the fingers? Well, you, you'd never have, you wouldn't want that to show up in a close-up shot because it immediately gives it away. And you probably have seen a lot of film where they don't take the time to get rid of the articulation hardware and it shows up. Uh, of course, the careful observer will see it, but the average observer will not. Um, the other thing to point out is the finish on this is a little shiny. It'd be too reflective for the camera. So you want to mat that down. And of course, the way we do that professionally is uh, something as simple as using uh, tile grout. Uh, tile grout because it's a silica based and it's colored. So you can have any color you want. We use a, a medium tan so as not to darken the subject too much. You can also use a light gray, which blends in well with bone. But in this case, what we would have done would be to dab in or brush on the grout while the finish was still tacky and it would it would um, subdue the reflective nature there of the skull. It's on the hands as well. The other thing you would want to do for a close-up is it's it's unrealistic that the finger bones would be and this we tried to go for burn here so let me back up and explain. Burn would have taken everything off the the soft layers all the way down and you see some skin retains here and then, of course, it basically has an overall chart. Black, or in some cases, if they were charred well, they would be totally black, and then you would even be missing the front digits. So that's just attention to detail, but you can design it to taste. Let's move up here to the skull and talk about some of these parts. The skull is basically excellently done. This white line around here is where we had originally attached some hair and then took it off because it didn't make sense for it to be there. Um, but you can see the flesh component that's still around the jaw and of course this is where it's burned completely off. Uh, you see no soft tissue inside the eye sockets, the nose or the mouth. And of course if you wanted to have more of a realistic posture here, this would really be broken up open like this and it would be completely agape because the jaw would collapse when the soft tissue melts. So we will probably anchor this down and then uh, reshoot this part in here so that you don't see any of that or it all looks like it's flesh. So otherwise this is a great job. It's a great first attempt and uh, we're proud of it so far. And there's some more detail of it. I'll point out one other thing as I was observing this. If you noticed in the deer carcass in the previous film, 
you had some ribs that were open and exposed as we left these and then your skin covers so that's attention to detail that's a natural decomposition process that you want to go ahead and try to emulate as faithfully as possible also the way that we were able to accomplish this brush off technique here that's actually been sanded with a very fine grit of sandpaper to scuff off some of the top of this and then it was over brushed with a very light um, like a whitewash of a lighter color paint so that's a nice look too or you can go for the solid black either one but overall this is a great looking piece and this is what you want to strive for when you're doing your set deck and you're creating your corpses if you have any questions the information to contact us is in the text portion of the video talk to you later